He was Jameis's go to last night caught 10 of 11 targets for a buck 28 and a touchdown. He had 118 of those yards after the catch Ooh. most by any player in any game this season and here's the one thought that I continue to have as we were watching this game last night that Saints offense is just unspectacular yeah. and Russell Wilson and we all saw what happened last offseason and the Saints are one of the teams on his list I did find myself thinking Dan Graziano is it possible that the quarterback for New Orleans next year was on the opposite sideline last night I think that's high level thinking Greeny there's no doubt that that is a possibility if this Seahawks season spirals down as it has started to it is entirely possible that we are talking about Russell Wilson possibly going somewhere else next offseason and remember the Saints were one of those four teams that were on the list that his agent on the record gave to Adam Schefter who has about 8 million Twitter followers <laughs> and knew for a fact it was going to be publicly disseminated right. so yes keep an eye out for that no doubt so it, it does beg the question then because this was supposed to be a year in which the Saints maybe got even more explosive offensively Swagoo this Saints team right now are they going anywhere with Jameis Winston as their quarterback they get Tampa this weekend I don't believe they're going anywhere, G, when it comes to the grand scheme of the NFL season. And I was a bit premature saying Jameis was going to be in the MVP conversation, so I got to take my licks <laughs> on that. But when you look at, but when you when you look at this team now, I want people to be very cautious about the New Orleans Saints too, because from a defensive standpoint, this team can be very high level and keep them yeah. in a lot of games. I think the most important stat last night for the New Orleans Saints was zero interceptions for Jameis Winston. Mm -hmm. That was the most important stat of the game. And yeah, I ain't love the way he played. I didn't love I didn't love that it was non explosive. He also is missing one of the better receivers in the NFL. And we've all known that for the majority of the season. But when you look at what Jameis is doing and he's gotten tremendously better with taking care of the football. I think now he's at 14 interceptions. I mean, 14 touchdowns and three picks. He's trending towards having a really good season. But the bottom line is, if you can get Russell Wilson, you're going to take him on about 27 other teams in That's the right. NFL, too, potentially, if he becomes available. So they get Tampa this weekend. They beat Tampa last year twice and should have beat him in the playoff yeah. game. Breeze through a bunch of interceptions. Can they beat him Sunday? No. And listen, part of the issue here is Jameis Winston and no explosive plays. Like, I mean, they've had 12 explosive plays in six games. You thought when Drew Brees retired and with what Jameis Winston has showed us in the past, in the past, they would push the ball down the field, but they're not even attempting it. And listen, when they do attempt it, it's not like a contested catch. He's way overthrowing the ball if he's concerned that there's going to be anybody breaking in and jumping these routes. Again, when you talk about can this team, can, you can't win a lot of NFL games with scoring 13 points, especially Tampa Bay. You're going to have to score. That's going to require Winston playing I feel like the point you guys are making, and the numbers on Jameis look pretty good, is they're being very careful. Sean right. Payton is being That's very right. careful yeah. with his play calling, with how he's utilizing his quarterback. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't trust Jameis. And, I, I mean, we all can understand that. We've seen what Jameis has done so far, and it seems quite clear that the game plan for Jameis is a lot like what they would, did with Drew Brees. And part of the issue is they don't have a lot of talent on the outside either. They don't have receivers that are experienced. That's like, when they get uh, Michael Thomas back, maybe we'll see something different. But Michael Thomas is not a deep down the field threat. So, you brought in Jameis Winston and we all I like you Swagoo I forgive you sir because I too thought Jameis Winston was going to be a lot better than he is right now but that wasn't a terrible take even though it looks bad right now well, I mean it wasn't a terrible take and it wasn't a terrible game but it wasn't a but, great but, take hey, and it wasn't hold on a great one second game. though <laughs> yeah. hold on one second to that Go point ahead, now to that point and I like what you said Foxy let's let's be fair about where the Saints are comparatively to last year too that was a team with Emmanuel Sanders, Jared Cook, and you right. also had Alvin Kamara balling out of his mind in Latavius Murray. Selfie. This ain't the same offense mm -hmm. right. that, that they're running when they had Drew Brees last year either. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.